Mitchell with Tovatech here to talk with you about ultrasonic cleaner frequency. You might think that a higher ultrasonic frequency gives stronger cleaning, but actually the opposite is true. An ultrasonic cleaner produces lots of tiny bubbles in a process called cavitation. These bubbles implode, releasing the energy that does the cleaning. As the frequency gets lower, the cavitation bubbles get bigger. A larger bubble releases more energy when it implodes than a small bubble. And that means that a lower frequency is more powerful than a higher frequency. It's not surprising that low frequency is better at removing larger particles. On the flip side, at a high frequency when the bubbles are smaller, they're more evenly distributed and they do a more thorough job of scrubbing parts, especially parts with lots of tiny features and openings. High frequency is gentler and tends to be better at removing smaller particles. Okay, so what frequency do you need? Most ultrasonic cleaners operate between 37 and 45 kilohertz, and the overwhelming majority of parts are cleaned very well in this frequency range. If you're removing polishing paste, which is a pretty coarse material, 25 kilohertz works better. If you're cleaning very delicate parts, like polished aluminum or sensitive electronic components, a high frequency like 80 or even 130 kilohertz will be safer for those parts. Some ultrasonic cleaners have more than one frequency, and you can choose the right frequency depending on what you're cleaning. The Elmasonic P units can be set at either 37 or 80 kilohertz. There are other models that operate at either 25 or 45, and some at 35 or 130. Some models even have a program that lets you automatically switch back and forth between the two frequencies while you're cleaning. Yes, there are a lot of choices. If you're not sure what frequency to use, give us a call and we'll be happy to help. We're here to answer all your questions about ultrasonic cleaning. Have a great day.